Russ, you know just what to say to me. <laughs> oh, you're amazing. Oh, I just want to get out of this hellhole and go see you right now. <laughs> uh, hello? I can't stress enough. I am surrounded by morons. <laughs> Bing bong. Hey, yo. Oh. I see you. <laughs> what was that, Rusty? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Fucking idiots. Oi. Tick tock, tick tock interview, right? I heard you the first time. <laughs> Say that again, Rusty. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Russ? Russ? Are you there? Damn it, Jay Maniac. If you ever do that again, I'll have all your mail sent to Alaska. And if you want it, you're gonna have to take your little training wheeled scooter on a long road trip. Uh, all right, look, let's not get crazy here. This is just our living room campfire chat, so hurry up. Go on break and meet us upstairs, por favor. All right already. See you in five. Three. Four and a half. Okay, three and a half. Fine, I'll see you in five. All uh, right. Yoo-hoo! Yeah? Can you help me with my groceries? Um, yeah, okay, yeah, sure. Wait, this is just one bag with one roll of paper towels. I think you got this on your own, okay? Can you do me a favor and spin around? I think I saw something. Just do it one more time for me, please. All right, well, what are you seeing? What have you found? I'll tell you what I found. An ass that can crack a walnut. God is dead! Um, what's that? Yeah, I think I hear my mom calling. I have to get back home to fix um, a, a, a light bulb. Yeah, yeah, a light bulb. I'm sure I'll see you later. The blood moon rises in the north. <coughs> oh, fuck. What's going on? You look like Richard Simmons after a workout of sweating to the oldies on VHS. I, I think... I avoided an animalistic groping session back. By whom? I don't know, Some someone in the halls. You should probably stay out of the halls because they're dangerous. Stick near the elevators. Where's Lil Rot? She's running late? Yeah, yeah, she'll be here any minute now. It's, uh, you know, it's getting a little chilly. I think it's about time to get the campfire started. You think we're doing damage with these campfires? Apartment looks fine to me. Besides, like I said before, we have adequate ventilation. Yeah, but the ceilings are getting black soot all over them, and there's hairline fractures forming, and also, I'm tired of having to sweep up the ashes and dumping them out the hole in the wall that used to be a window. What's the ETA on when this is getting repaired? Look, that's Mistress's problem. Last time I went up to her penthouse, she was, you know, a little bit passed out on the floor holding the door wide open. And you just left her there? Yeah, that's a good point. Hmm. Well, she looked like she was breathing. She's aight. Uh-oh. What? Beck, that's that's the grabber with, with Lil. Oh, oh. Lil Rotten, uh, nice of you to finally join us, uh, even though you're tardy. Yeah, yeah. I'm here, ain't I? By the way, I brought a friend. It's your new neighbor down on floor 11, apartment 69. I may have crossed paths with him in the shadowy depths of the halls. Yeah. I didn't catch your name. Call me Laser Wolf. Laser Wolf? Is that your Christian name? Well, I'm Titus, but in the West Village, I'm known to hone in like a laser, and I'm hungry like the wolf. You know, like the song? Well, why don't you hone in on that log there and have a seat. We're starting a fire. Oh my god, I saw the perfect campfire mug for camping season at Starbucks today. Death will come for you all. Well, why don't you pull up a log and join the party? Hey, hey, hey. Ooh, last time I sat on a log of this thick, I couldn't walk straight for a week. Blood will flow like the river. Why don't you uh, pull up a log as well, Lil Rot? I prefer to stand, because I don't know if you maniacs are trying to sabotage me with explosives or a rusty nail. This is going swimmingly, Beck. Why don't we just get started? 
So Lil Rot, how long have you been sisters with Viv Rot? We were both in the womb together, but Viv came out first. And I didn't like the way the doctor was looking at me. I wasn't prepared. So I figured I'd stay in the womb for a while. I stayed in six weeks longer because I wasn't ready for this cruel world. Next thing I know, the doctors were all grabbing me and it pissed me off. So I just shot out and knocked them over. I said, here I am, now leave me the fuck alone. Does that answer your question? That was very descriptive. I think we all got a taste of your saltiness right from the jump. Mr. Laserwolf, where were you born? Well, I was born in the west end of the West Village on the west side, right by the Best Western and the old Westinghouse factory that burned down. When I was born, I slapped the doctor on his ass and said to him, My brain will cast darkness across the land. You know, not many people know what they like early in life. Fetishes usually develop a bit later. Miss Lil Rock, what clique did you fall into when you were in school? Like, were you a hippie, a goth, or you know, a raver? Fall in, more like dropped out. The only clique I was interested in was the sound my lighter made. I like that. She's. I mean, I actually like that too. She might be one of us. Yo. I'm thinking that she is one of us. The puzzle pieces are really starting to come together now. Laser Wolf, if you were a tree, what kind of tree would you be, and why? Ooh, what a great question. Okay, so if you ask my bestie, she would say I'm a weeping willow because I'm a cancer and allegedly emotional. But I'm so not. Ugh. Anyway, looking at Jay over there, I'm thinking a coconut tree. But that's only because I want to climb up that thick trunk of his, find the ripe, heavy fruit he's got hanging, and drink every drop of coconut milk inside. Mmm. I hate to admit it, but I'd probably just be a basic white birch. Question for Lil Rot. If a train left New York at 300 miles per hour and accelerates its speed at 15 miles per hour and traveled the distance of 683 miles, tell me, what time would that train leave Chicago? That's a fucking trick question. Mr. Wolf, if I may ask, how much would you charge to wash every window in the West Village? Well, I would offer a big discount at the Powerlifters Gym if the manager would let me squeegee the sweat off his tight ass. But I haven't hit rock bottom yet. What's your favorite dessert, Laser Wolf? Well, I prefer cakes. Big cakes, lumpy cakes, thick cakes, especially in pears. I like custard cakes, smooth cakes, chocolate cakes. I don't discriminate. So, Mini Rot, what is your favorite music to listen to? What really calms the savage beast inside? I'm into screaming. The screaming. <laughs> 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 That's a new genre I've never heard of. I'm into screaming. The screamier, the better. If it sounds like their lungs hurt, I'm into it. Makes me forget about my day-to-day -day in this piece of shit. Fair enough. Which one would you prefer? Have no nose, but have really good smelling fingers, or be blind, but have a really nice smile? I prefer to not waste my time with these goddamn idiotic questions, you fucking maniacs. Why the hell am I even here anyways? Now I'm stuck with you maniacs all goddamn day, and I'm off the clock, and I should be spending my precious time with my Rossi. There's nothing you can do about it. Yeah, you Damn agreed maniacs. to this interview. That's right. She's a sleeping woman with a summer face. I'm Patrice Munsell, and I'm often asked, what are Campfire Girls all about? Well, in Campfire Girls, there are girls, and boys sometimes, and a mother, business girl, college girl, artist, all group leaders. And it's men on committees giving a hand. A lonely girl? <laughs> Not for long in Campfire Girls. There's always a friend. And sponsors, a teacher, a minister, priest, rabbi, often men support. What do campfire girls do? <laughs> well, you name it. And now we have some surprise questions for you, too. Totally not on the script. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Your script is nothing right now. So this one Just is for Laser Wolf. Just the wind. That's right. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, uh, I don't have anything. What? Do you, uh, what? 
The first one is for Lazo Wolf. How would you respond to this? Red skies at night. How would you respond to that, Laser Wolf? Um, probably afternoon delight. Oh, afternoon delight. Close, pretty close, but pretty close. And back, I'll ask you. How would you reply to this? Red skies at night. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> well, you can tell we're children of the '80s, everybody. That's right. <laughs> Laser Wolf, what's your take on the Mandela effect? Well, I guess, like, if he takes me out and dinner's really good, I guess I'll take anything. <laughs> <laughs> good dinner goes a long way, huh, Laser Wolf? That's right. I mean, inflation, the way it is right now, is fucking crazy. Yeah. Yeah, dollar slice is no longer to now a dollar fifty. That's right. Yeah. The Dollar Tree is now like a dollar fifty. Oh, you're right. I think it's like a dollar twenty-five in this area, but it might as well be a dollar fifty with tax. Lil Rot, if bald people work in a restaurant, do they still need to wear a hairnet? What kind of fucking question is this, you fucking maniacs? Well, do you think they still need to wear a hairnet? No, because they got no goddamn hair. Okay. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> I need to get the fuck out of here. Not yet. Well, I got I got something for you. Okay, it's just a very important question. Just, oh, oh, Jesus. Just, all right, hold on a second. Why don't you think aliens have come down here yet and landed? What's holding them back? I don't know, but I'd really like them to come the fuck down here and get me out of this fucking hellhole. Laser Wolf, why is sandwich meat round, but bread is square? Oh my God, I I have no idea. That's crazy. <laughs> Never think of shit like that, do you? Right? You don't. Would you rather have medical scanning vision where you could read someone's health issues with your eyes, or you can always tell when someone is lying? Well, I mean, luckily, Jay Maniac, those shorts really don't leave much to the imagination, so I don't need the x-ray vision. I think I'd rather know when people are lying. Us too. Didn't we say that back? Yes, we uh, did. Yeah, we agreed yeah. that that was the way to go on that one. Lil Rot, what's the color of a mirror? The color of the mirror is the color of my soul. Empty, but reflective. Ooh. Very ooh, poetic. That's deep. Wow. <laughs> Don't say deep around Laser Wolf, man. That's right. <laughs> so Lil Rot, why was six afraid of seven? I don't fucking know. Like I said, I dropped out of school. I had better things to do. Well, I'll tell you the answer because seven, eight, nine. <laughs> That's so fucking stupid, J Maniac. <laughs> it's pretty fucking stupid. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Laser Wolf, what do you think about when you're on the toilet? Oh, no. I mean, usually I think about how much more fun it is going in than coming out. I will drink the blood of your enemies. Pew, 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 Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> no, laser. Stupid. <laughs> Is it sacrilegious to have pizza cut into squares or rectangles? No. You know what? You're fired. Lil Rat, which side of the armrest is really yours in the movie theater? Both of them. And if anybody tries to put their arm on them, I stab them. Oh, oh I really like Lil Rat. I it's know. happened She's, a couple times. You're starting already. to become a little bit more rat. Right? Yeah. Well, yeah, I got one for you, Lil Rat. How much money would it take for you to be mauled by a bear like Leo DiCaprio in The Revenant? Honestly, right now, it'd be about a dollar fifty. No, honestly, right now, it'd be a buck fifty for a bear to maul me instead of answering these questions. <laughs> yeah, you can get a dollar fifty slice at uh, Two Bros on, on St. Mark's. No problem. Laser Wolf. Can I pay to have Leo maul me? Oh, I knew he was going to say something like that. <laughs> He'd take you on a yacht and shit afterwards, too. Yeah, he would. He yeah. takes all his Daytons on a yacht. He'd give you a gift bag after the night, too. <laughs> <laughs> I was hallucinating. <laughs> Why isn't there any mouse-flavored food for cats? Ugh, I'm, I'm a dog person anyway. I don't really like pussies. Laser Wolf, what's the weirdest text you've ever received? Oh, it, probably the one I got last week. It said, the trampoline broke, we need to reschedule. They're dangerous, <laughs> dude. People get fucked up on trampolines. That's good one, that's good. Lil Rot, what do you call a question with no answer? 
a question with no answer. It's basically every little banter that you maniacs give to me every day. That's true. Personally, I would have said hypothetical, but that's just me. I would have said rhetorical. Oh, rhetorical's good too. I would have said retardical because that's what you two are. <laughs> Last question, and then you can go back to being your miserable self. Small Rock, I'm going to give you unlimited pizza, but every time you take a shower, you have to do the Pee Wee Herman tequila dance. You taking it? I mean, I already do the Pee Wee (laughs) Herman tequila dance in the shower anyway, so why fuck not get the pizza? Amen. I'd be doing it too. Uh, uh, I don't know if I would. I can't even fucking wash my feet sometimes that I'm almost taking down the whole fucking curtain and everything. Why does she get the Pee Wee shower question? I think it's time to put out this raging fire. I've got this squirt gun, and back. Uh, I think you got a full can of Knickerbocker. Are you ready? Freddy. <laughs> we would like to thank Lil Rot and Laser Wolf for your presence, your graceful presence. Hopefully, I don't run into you too much in the building. Now get the hell out of here already. Thanks, guys, and also thanks to our listeners for patiently waiting for season four. Speaking of Pee Wee Herman, I'd like to dedicate this to Mr. Paul Rubens for giving us so much joy during our childhood. Oh. Sorry, we got motorcycles (laughs) coming through here. Hold on. Well, apparently that was uh, Satan's helpers. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) The Satan's helpers are... They came right through at the right time. (laughs) May you rest in peace, brother. Yeah, R.I.P. Pee Wee. That's right. Stay tuned, be aware, and watch the fuck out.